Welcome to How to Solve Channel. Apple close iTunes service for new Mac OS. So there is no any option to use iTunes for sync iOS device and iPados. So here I am showing you how to use Finder for sync iPhone and in the same way for iPad, open Finder on Mac from dock and connect your iPhone to Mac using lightning cable. Unlock your iPhone screen and enter passcode on Mac to allow use on Mac. Now on left side pan of Finder window, click on your iPhone name. Device summary screen is same like iTunes but it has new features and options to sync data like podcast, music, TV episode, files and more. Let's have look each option one by one. At the last of the screen, two very important settings are given there for you and your iPhone. First is automatically sync when this iPhone is connected and second option is show this iPhone when on Wi-Fi. At the top most options are check for update and restore iPhone to clean install or install new apps file. Click Shift plus this button to browse a RIPS file and start your storing process. Second part is take a backup of your iPhone in iCloud or local backup. Also manage backup, backup now, and restore backup. These all the essential settings are easy use just like iTunes that shown more unique ways. Next I am going to show you what is new is Music Sync and how to use it. First after the general option is Music and click on Music tab. Now first option is sync music onto iPhone. Now other options also visible to make some customization that help to sync particular music type like save entire music library or selected playlists, artists, albums, and genres. Next to select video, voice memos, also other songs if you move from Mac or iPhone or iPad. Third tab is for films, keep enable add select if you sync. Third tabs is films that we can sync from here. And the fourth is TV programs tab. Enable sync TV programs onto iPhone after that watch and unmatched movies, and episodes from them. This information will fetch from official Mac OS TV app that installed on Mac. Next fifth tab is for podcasts. Select sync podcast sync and select that you want add in iPhone. In the same way other syncing options are audio books, books, photos, and files. And the last option is sync contacts and sync calendars. Next is books that all the locally saved on your Mac easy to move on iPhone using this sync option. First enable sync books onto iPhone X and pick your selected books from the selected books option and now you have an option from books or PDF files. Photos syncing is the most useful and helping among other syncing options. Here first select the box sync photos to your device from selected folder on Mac. After the choose one of options all folders or selected folders. In the same way you can select from files, under the app running on your Mac. And the last option is sync contacts or sync calendars on iPhone. Scroll to find more options that auto filter the contacts and calendars data using the option R replace contacts and replace calendars. Finally don't forget to select sync or apply button to make changes. Now syncing process will take time depends on how much data is syncing.